let this be a normal field trip? With a friend? No way! Oh. Cruising on down Main Street, you're relaxed and feeling good. <laughs> Next thing that you know, you'll see it. Octopus <laughs> in the neighborhood, surfing on a sound wave, swinging through the stars. Yeah. Take a left at your intestine, take your second right past Mars. I'm a magic school bus. Alligator nostril. I'm a magic school bus. Right to the sea. Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on oh, the magic school bus. Step inside, it's a wild ride. Come on, right on the magic school bus. <laughs> bees, bees, we want bees. I say we choose our beaver lodge. Hold it, everybody, hold it. A science fair. Just a science fair? Too bad we can't use last year's solar-powered juggling machine. Nice try, Ralph. But it doesn't fit with this year's theme. Animals that live together. And I quote from the entry form. Some animals live alone, but some live and work together in groups called communities. Watch your back. Heads up. Coming through. I'm escorting an important visitor to our classroom. Make way for... Hello, class. Miss Frizzle, you almost stepped on our visitor. Oh, my. What visitor? My friend, the ant. Look at her go. Isn't she amazing? Wonder where she's headed. Don't worry, little ant. Wherever you're going, I'll make sure you get there. No time for antics, Keisha. We've got to pick a project for the science fair. Ah, the passion of science! Now, Liz, do you have any idea where I put that camera? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, no! My aunt! Where's my aunt? Keisha, your aunt is eating my mallow blaster. So that's why she came in here. She was looking for food. Don't worry, little ant. Arnold's more than happy to share his mallow blaster. Keisha, are you going to babysit that ant all day or... Hey, maybe we could do something about my ant for the science fair. According to my research, where you find one ant, there's usually more. That's right, Dorothy Ann. Ants live together in nests. But what could we do with ants? A mural? A model? Uh... Hey! <gasps> Careful with that camera, Liz. At my old school, lizards weren't allowed to make movies. That's it! We'll make a movie! She's a natural star. I can see it all now. We'll call it Travels with My Ant. A movie about an ant? You know something? That's not a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. It's a great idea. Yes! Let's make a movie! I'll write it. It'll be all about an ant with a long nose called Elephant. Get it? <laughs> can I help write it too? You can write it together. What about us? You can all be in it and play ants. What are my lines? Who's the star? My aunt, of course. If you're going to direct this movie, Keisha, you might need this. Me? Direct it? But I thought you... It was your idea. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. I'm the director. The whole film depends on me. As I always say, action! How does she do that? Ms. Frizzle, you could do the costumes. <laughs> Why, thank you, Carlos. Okay, now, people, this is... Keisha? In a minute, Phoebe. This is what I want you to do. Huh? Follow that camera lizard! A little tighter. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh. Ants! But which one's mine? Look at them all! Where are they going? Uh, guys, can we go back in now? 
I just know it's gonna rain. Not until I find my aunt, Arnold. She's my star, and now I've lost her. According to my research, your star has been telling the other ants in its nest about Arnold's mellow blaster. <gasps> Excellent observation, Dorothy Ann. Ants don't actually talk to each other, but they do communicate. I got it! It's a western starring an ant that rounds up food, see? And then tells the rest of the ants where it is. That's good, Ralphie, that's good. We'll call it Food Dude. Excellent, Carlos. An ant whose job it is to find food is a forager ant. Food Dude is a wonderful name for Keisha's ant. Um, uh, Miss Rizzle, are we going on a field trip? <laughs> Very observant, Arnold. Observant. I like it. I like it a lot. Is that her? Is that my aunt? I don't think so, Keisha. Director to bus, please. Director to bus. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Miss Frizzle, we've lost her. We've lost our star. I can't do a movie without a star. Oh, right you are, Keisha. She's one in a million. Hmm? Uh, seat belts, everyone. Here we go. Again? <laughs> we're shrinking. I feel like we're on the inside of a mini mallow blaster. We are. Whoa! Hey, we're being foreign. I thought we were going to play ants, not food. I knew I should have stayed home today. Giant potato chip being foraged dead ahead. So, uh, Keisha, is the movie gonna star a forager ant? And are we going to co-star as the food? Miss Frizzle, I'm really sorry, but I don't think this movie should star a forager ant. Got that, Carlos? Not about a forager ant. Why not? That's what your aunt is. I know, Carlos, but I've been thinking. I want more drama. More excitement! I wish you hadn't said that. Where are we? In Ant Hill! Miss Frizzle, we're on location. This is perfect! We'll meet the ants. Up close and personal. Now I'll find my star. Okay, people, this movie is my responsibility. So I will check out the Ant Hill and then tell you what to do next. Come on, Liz. It really grabbed me. Did you get it, Liz? What's with those gigantic ants? Who let them on the set? We're on location, Keisha. Remember? They look like they're guarding the nest or something. Don't they, Carlos? Cool. Keisha, the movie could star a guard ant. I don't know, Ralphie. Come on, Keisha. We can call it the guard father. Perfect for the wide screen with stereo sound and... And smell-o-vision! Smell-o-vision? Mm-hmm. Guard ants use their antennae to smell if we are friend or foe. They're smelling us. Precisely, Tim. Ants don't understand words, but they do understand smells. <laughs> They're checking to see if we smell like them. Yeah, they want to know if we're wearing the same... <laughs> Deodorant. <laughs> Carlos. No, no, it's a great joke. It's going in. Ants don't wear deodorant, Carlos. But their bodies do make scented chemicals called pheromones. Pheromones? Pheromones! Hey! <laughs> Tickles! What is this stuff? Well, class, now we truly smell like these ants. <laughs> we do? Yes. And now the guard ants will let us into the nest. As I always say, when visiting a nest, smell like the rest. I smell like an ant, just what I always wanted. <gasps> really, Ralphie? Me too. Oh, boy. <laughs> One good smell deserves another. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that tickles. Cool. cool. Come on, Liz. We've got to get in there.
there and find our star. Wait for us! Okay, Phoebe, uh, what do we have so far? Well, this movie is not about a forger ant or a guard ant. So what is it about, Keisha? We can't write this script without a star. Hmm. Let me think. Don't worry, everybody. It's all part of the creative process. She's thinking of a star. Hey, check it out. Wow. Where are they going? Man, it must be rush hour. Look, Keisha, a cast of thousands. Okay, places, everyone. Well, where do you want us, Keisha? What about makeup, Keisha? I don't look anything like these ants. And what's the plot, Keisha? Who's the star? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Who knew so many ants would audition? Um, Keisha, maybe it would help if we worked with the ants. Got to know them better. We're not going inside an ant, are we? <laughs> no, Arnold. But Phoebe's right. Understanding begins with observation. Good idea, Phoebe. Method acting. I love it. Okay, everyone. See the ant. Feel the ant. Be the ant. Action. This ant's rubbing its head. And this one's licking itself. That's it, Arnold. Be the ant. But I did this today already. Uh, in the shower. Hey, maybe the ants are cleaning themselves. Oh, Tim, your logic is spotless. Yuck, these two are kissing. Keisha, I've got it. The movie's a romance. Get it? <laughs> romance. <laughs> Carlos. These ants aren't kissing at all. Yeah, it looks like that ant is giving the other ant something. Oh, sure. Give it back to me after you've chewed it. What is it? Mallow Blaster. I recognize it in any form. So those ants are passing food around. Cool. A food passing ant would make a great star. Think of the story. I have, Carlos, and it doesn't work. One day, an ant passed food to another ant. It just doesn't feel complete somehow. <sighs> Forget that one. Come on, Keisha, we need a star. Hey, the star could be the president. <laughs> Get it, president? <laughs> Carlos, stop. I know we need a star, Carlos. I just haven't seen the right end. Everyone, stay with your partner. <laughs> yeah. What's in here? And chase scene take one. Hey, where are you guys going? What are they carrying? They're like little worms. Cut, cut, cut! No worms. This movie is about an ant. Why do you keep giving things to me? Do I look like an ant? I don't know, Arnold, but you look like you're holding a baby. Maybe it is a baby. A baby ant. Well done, Phoebe. They're baby ants, all right. When they hatch from eggs, they're called larvae. That's it! Larvae, the beginning. But who ever heard of a movie about larvae? I don't know, Keisha. I think it has potential. I think it's cute. But all they do is wiggle. There's no drama, no action. The ants are moving the larvae around. How's that for action? And why are they moving them? How's that for mystery? Hey, I bet they're trying to keep the larvae warm. Exactly, Tim. Nurse ants move the young around the nest to keep them the right temperature. My ants are nurse. I've got it, I've got it. We could call it Florence Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> cut, 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 cut! Now what, Keisha? It's a really good idea and everything, but somehow it isn't enough. Where's the danger? The intrigue! Hey, what are those things? Hey, wait, wait! I didn't say action! People, people, what are you doing? Pupae, 
The larvae make cocoons called pupae. Come on, pupae! I mean people! Look at it! Do you really want to make a movie starring a pupae? Pupa, actually. Only one is called a pupa. Pupae is plural. Pupae, pupa, whatever. Pretty exciting story, if you ask me. It would make a great documentary. Documentary? No way, Carlos! Mr. Cud's class did a documentary last year on cows, remember? Just to keep you up to date, Keecha, we are not doing a movie about a forger ant, a guard ant, a nurse ant, a larva, or a pupa. Keisha, there aren't any ants left! Well then, how about an egg? Oh no, an egg! That's even worse! Um, Miss Frizzle, where do ant eggs come from anyway? Oh, good question, Phoebe. The eggs came from the queen. The queen? Miss Frizzle, you're a genius! Carlos, the queen is the perfect star! Think of the story. A royal exclusive! You're right. It's gold. Come on! What are we waiting for? Let's go! Which way? Um... It's the creative process again. that away. way Excuse me, Miss Director. Is water supposed to be coming through the walls like that? Oh, after the tunnel caves in, you will see some of the most amazing ant activity yet. Did you say after the tunnel caves in? All right, class. Duck and cover! And cut! Okay, people, don't panic. I'll have you out of here in a... Whoa! Look at these ants go! The rain made the nest even, and they're repairing it like construction workers. Right, Tim! That's their job! They're builder ants! Wow! Keisha, Keisha, we have got to do this movie about a builder ant. Look at the action, the drama, the excitement! Yeah, but which builder ant, Tim? Well, just pick one. The queen is the star. Know why? Because there is only one. But... Trust me on this. I'm the director. Remember? To the queen! This must be it, Keisha. Are you excited? You bet, Phoebe. This movie is going to have everything. Action, drama, excitement, and most of all, a real star. Quick, quick, go in and bow to the queen. Ask her who her agent is. The queen is very important. Maybe so, but where is she? <gasps> Why, there she is, the biggest one. Oh, isn't she wonderful? That's the queen? That's, That's the, the queen? queen? That's the queen. But she's not doing anything. My kind of job. Of course she is. She's doing a lot. Isn't she, Miss Frizzle? Absolutely, Keisha. The queen is the only one who lays the eggs. The queen laid an egg. The end. <sighs> Not much of a movie, Keisha. Sure it is. We start in close on the queen, th then we... Then we pull back, and we... And we... No way, Keisha. This may be the queen, but she's no star. So, what is it about, Keisha? Nothing. I give up. Oh, great. It's still raining. It figures. No, thank you. I'd rather walk. I deserve to get wet. Oh, bad. Oh, bad, 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 bad. What made me think I could direct a movie? Now I've wrecked a science fair for everyone. Keisha? Too bad I'm such a rotten director. But you're not. I am. I almost wiped out my whole class. And there's still no movie, no story, no star. But what about the queen? What kind of star just sits there and lays eggs? But if it weren't for her eggs, there wouldn't be any ants. So, if it weren't for the ants that brought her food, there wouldn't be any queen. Hmm, I see what you mean. And if it weren't for the forger ants, there wouldn't be any food for anybody. And if it weren't for the builder ants, there wouldn't be a nest. And if it weren't for the guard ants, the nest would be attacked. Yeah. One star. 
More like they all are. Baby, that's it! It's really about all the ants. All the ants. And how they work together. Keisha, you're right. Of course I'm right. I'm the director. Come on. Hey, where's everyone going? We've got a movie to make about ants. Without a star, forget it. I said ants, not ants. There isn't one star in an anthill. All the ants are stars. Yeah. Every ant has a job to do to keep the nest going. Just like we each have a job to do to make this movie. Forget the movie. Mudslide! Hey, what about the ants? As I always say, action. Thanks, Miss Frizzle. Huh? We've got to save the ants. How? The magnifying glass will block the entrance. Wanda, Ralphie, Carlos, Phoebe, grab that in. D.A., Arnold, Tim, Miss Frizzle. And lift! It's great! A survival movie! Yeah, and we'll call it A River Almost Ran Through It. Finally, the nest was saved, the rain stopped, and the sun came out. The end! Yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. How did you do it? I didn't do a thing. It was Keisha's idea. Yes, but I couldn't have done it without... Phoebe. And I couldn't have done it without... Arnold. And I couldn't have done it without Dorothy Ann. And I couldn't have done it without Carlos. And I couldn't have done it without Wanda. Her part was truly significant. Get it? <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> and I couldn't have done it without Tim. And I couldn't have done it without Ralphie. And I couldn't have done it without Miss Frizzle. And I couldn't have done it without the school bus. <laughs> But none of us could have done it without the inspiration of the ants. As I always say, it's easy if you've got Tal Ant. <laughs> oh, Miss Rizzo! Is this the magic school bus? Is this the magic school bus? 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 Okay, Liz, I promise I'll let everyone know how much work you did on that movie. Just let me take this call, okay? Hello. Hi, you work on the Magic School Bus Show, right? You bet. I'm the producer. Uh, one of them. I know for a fact there are thousands of ants in an ant colony, but in your show, I only counted 137. Well, I guess you must be an account ant. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, boy. Now I know who's responsible for all those terrible puns. <laughs> Well, actually, you're right. There are thousands of ants in one colony, but we couldn't afford to hire that many extras. And there are also thousands of different species of ants. You only showed one kind of ant. Right again. There are about 10,000 different kinds of ants, more than all the other social insects put together. And you didn't say a thing about the fact that all the ants we saw were female. Well, yes, we feel quite repentant <laughs> about that. <laughs> Now, almost every ant in the colony is female. The only thing the few males do is mate with the queen. Anything else? Yes, ants use pheromones for more than telling friend from foe. It's how they communicate where food is. If the nest needs repairing, they smell pheromones like we hear words. You know, kid, I have to say, you're pretty darn smart. Actually, I'm brilliant. <laughs> gotcha. One more call, and that's it. Promise. Hello, Magic School Bus. This is the Oscar Awards Committee returning your call. Yes, I just had a question about the rules. In the category of best camera work, is it possible to nominate a, 
a lizard? <laughs> Come on in and don't be shy. Come on. Just to make your day complete, you might get baked into a pie on a magic scuba. Step inside, it's a wild. 